for an uprising. This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. I wanted to do a video just to kind of simplify and show people how this is not a coincidence that all of these celebrities are all linked to Freemasonry, how they subliminally always throw in Freemasonry symbols in movies, in music videos, and how if I put all this in perspective in one video, how it should be able to get people to start thinking and realizing that these secret societies all work together, these celebrities who are part of these elite bloodlines, all are part of these fraternal organizations, okay? So for people out there to think, well, you know, they could make it in Hollywood and they can make it as a famous musician based on talent, they're living in a naive world because that is not true. It is not possible to make it in these fields unless you are one of them. Now, I know a lot of people feel that Freemasonry is a bottom-dwelling uh, you know, fraternal order. It's at the bottom of the pyramid. It's at the bottom of the food chain. It's what most people will tell you. Well, there's truth in that, and there's also lies in that. Because while Freemasonry might not be the Jesuit order, and it might not be you know as powerful as the Jesuits or as powerful as Zionists, all of these people who are in those fraternal orders went through Freemasonry, and whether they went to the you know down the road of the Scottish Rite or a different a different path and became 33rd degree Masons and then, you know, moved up in the pyramid into different fraternal organizations. All of these people go through the basic Freemasonry, the basic, you know, the, uh, you know, fraternal orders that they have to go through. Okay. And I want to show you, you know, because it is important. It's very important. And I worry about people who follow the truther community, who think that, you know, you only should talk about the one thing and not talk about the other because there's a lot of clogs in the wheel, okay? And I've heard channels recently talking about how they, you know, Freemasonry isn't really bad and, oh, it's only been infiltrated recently and, oh, they have, you know, certain people have family members who are in it and it's not what everybody thinks, at least it wasn't then. It's always been corrupt since it's been here in America, okay, period. It's not just now all of a sudden it's a corrupt organization, okay? So people who are dismissing it, you really have to check their credentials and it really makes you wonder if, you know, the person's grandfather was a Freemason or 30, you know, or whatever, or in some other fraternal organization, if they're a part of it as well, and they're giving out disinformation, because that's what they do. They will plant Freemasons in this, you know, community to give out disinformation, to make it seem like Freemasonry isn't bad, and only focus on this or focus on that, when there's a lot of things that we all should focus on exposing. Because if people really see this stuff, they start to go, wow, is it a coincidence that all of these people happen to be Freemasons, that all of these people, you know, in Hollywood are all connected to each other. Now, you could see, let's start here by showing some of the basic symbols, okay? You don't need to see the guy in the cloak or whatever you call it, in the, in the garb that they wear, or, you know, like Shaquille O'Neal, who's, who's wearing it openly on TNT television while he's covering NBA basketball, showing off his ring because clearly he doesn't care at all, so he shows it off. But you also will see subliminal messaging Images such as the hidden hand, right? You'll see Kanye West doing the hidden hand. I've covered this in a separate video. And again, I want this stuff to all be in one video so people could see this and go, oh, this is pretty interesting. What is this fraternal organization and why is there one in every town in America? Because guess what? Look it up. Look up where you live. There's definitely one in your town. And if it's not in your town, it's on the border of your town because you might be in a really, really small town. But the town next to it will have one and people who from your town will be members in that town. Okay, that's why on the highway you'll see signs when you get off at an exit, you'll see this Freemasonic logo because they let them know, okay, there's here's where the lodge is here for all the Freemasons who come through. I mean, this is how it works. It is a network. Okay, we've all been duped into thinking, you know, it, it's sitting right there for everyone to see, but we've all been duped because we just think that all this stuff is just natural, like it's a fraternity in college. Okay, so you'll see Tom Hanks, another Freemason doing the sign of fidelity, the hand over the chest. You'll see a lot of, you know, these people on magazine covers doing these poses. This is what they do. It's almost like if you're somebody who isn't awake yet or you're just beginning to wake up, it's like gang, right? Everybody's aware that gangs throw up gang symbols, okay? Well, they do the same thing here. And they're not throwing up, you know, gang symbols to a motorcycle club or whatever they're a part of, 
Okay, they're throwing it up to the brotherhood. They're letting other members and other people in the brotherhood know that they're a part of the same fraternal organization. So you can see Tom Hanks doing it. You could see Kanye West doing the hidden hand. You could see a variation of it from Robert De Niro. Okay, in this, you know, this this photo that was taken for The Godfather, you know, with the pinky out, a lot of people, Johnny Depp, I suppose, you know, doing this, they'll do it on magazine covers. These are deliberately done poses. This isn't like, you know, getting out of the shower and somebody just flashing a picture of you or getting off of a bus. Okay. They're strategically doing this. That's what they do. That's how they communicate with one another. Okay. You'll see some of these images, you know, in from, from films, Christopher Walken wearing the Freemasonic ring on his hand. Okay. You see some of these other characters in movies. I believe this one guy was the guy from They Live wearing the Masonic ring. As well, obviously, I covered Ashton Kutcher recently, and you all saw him wearing the hat. Okay, now Walt Disney, a member of you know we have the Freemasonic Thirty Three Club at Disney, also a member of the Demolays. For those of you who aren't aware, the Demolay is a fraternal uh, organization for children. is a part of Freemasonry. They recruit these kids and then they prepare them to become Freemasons when they're age appropriate. They do the same thing. They recruit females. They begin indoctrinating them with a worship of Lucifer because all of these Freemasons worship Lucifer. Here is the quote, okay? This is from 33rd degree Mason Albert Pike. That which we must say to the crowd is we worship a God, but is the God that one adores without superstition. To you, sovereign grand inspectors general, we say this, that you may repeat it to the brethren of the 32nd, 31st, and 30th degrees. The Masonic religion should be, by all of us initiates of the high degrees, maintained in the purity of Luciferian doctrine. If Lucifer were not God, would Adonai, Jesus, uh, spread false and harmful statements about him? Yes, Lucifer is God. That is a quote from Albert Pike. And there's other quotes in the teachings that Lucifer... The light bearer, strange and mysterious name to give the spirit of darkness. Lucifer, the son of the morning, is it he who bears the light and with its splendors, intolerable blinds, feeble, sensual, or selfish souls? Doubt it not. And that's from morals and dogma. This is what they are taught. Okay, so now you know. And listen, I know a lot of you already know this stuff, but I want to put this together for people to make this an easy transition to wake up. Realize that there's a Freemason Lodge in your town. Realize that the teachings that they teach inside there are not of the Bible, even though those, they'll claim that you know they'll put the Bible on their altar and they'll say that they're Christian. Okay, We know that these people are liars. They worship Lucifer and they indoctrinate people with this Luciferian doctrine, period. Now, here's the connection. You start seeing all of these celebrities, right? Here you have... Brad Paisley, openly 32nd degree Freemason, right? Even a video where he's boasting about it, talking about how we need to have tolerance and we need to have universal love. These are all the things that I've been warning everybody about, right? Universal love. What does that lead to? Universal love and tolerance leads to the acceptance of Satanism and the occult. And that's why in this society we live in, people are accepting of it. And the only thing they're not tolerant of is Christianity. Okay, so you can see him here with his stupid little hat on. They, these, these, you know, these people are just, you know, I, I mean, they claim to be a part of a brotherhood, but I mean, they're just nothing but losers. You see Bill Clinton here. Bill Clinton. Now, some people say, well, where's the connection with Clinton and Freemasonry? Clinton fully connected to the Order of the Demolay in Arkansas. You can see him here at one of the orders hanging around kids, which is something that we all know he loves to do. You can see Richard Dreyfus here. Richard Dreyfus is a famous proud Freemason, okay, Cosmo Kramer, I forgot the guy's name off the top of my head, from Seinfeld, okay, you see him on the cover of the Scottish, right, most of you probably already seen this and are aware of it, you'll see Brad Pitt, right, on his ring, wearing another, uh, you know, another Masonic uh, symbol on his ring, you can see Simon Cowell here on his jet ski, I mean, you can't make it up, proudly with the Masonic emblem on his jet ski. I mean, it's everywhere. I mean, it's rampant. All of these people are a part of this stuff. And now another thing that you should keep in mind is that Ivy League universities, okay, we're talking Stanford, Yale, they have their own secret societies. Everybody's aware of Skull and Bones and the Bush's connections in Skull and Bones. All of these Ivy Leagues have their own fraternal organizations that are connected to Freemasonry. And that's one of the reasons that most of these famous 
musicians and actors all quote unquote attend these schools like Dartmouth, like Stanford, like Yale. It's not because they're smarter than you and me. Okay, remember for the people who who think that you know somebody's so smart for going to Yale or these schools, this is all fake. All the stuff that people are learning is nothing but lies. So in reality, they're really the dumbest people on earth are the ones that are going to these schools and thinking that they're smart because they're just smarter than everybody else at believing lies and passing tests and being rewarded for it because they're believing the lie more than anybody else. It's laughable. It's laughable. So you can see, you know, and that's something to remember that these Ivy League schools, they recruit people and they indoctrinate them. You'll see movies where they'll be talking about, oh, let's recruit them for fraternities. And then they'll make it just seem like, oh, yeah, the fraternity, you know, the 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 guys, you know, getting drunk and doing keg stands and picking up chicks. OK, that's not really what's going on. Yes, that does go on on college campuses, of course, but they actually are really recruiting people at schools like Yale because there are people who aren't born into it that get into it that they want involved in it, that they see something in, okay? Harry Truman, another 33rd degree Freemason, okay? And I've recently heard another <laughs> a Truth Channel talking about how they don't make men like Harry Truman anymore. Yeah, they sure don't. They make them just as bad or if not worse. Truman responsible for Operation Paperclip, bringing in all, all these doctors who are running these MK Ultra experiments. Just another rotten human being who's probably just burning in hell right now as we speak, unless he repented, of course, and found Jesus Christ. Okay, so you'll see all of these people connected to one another, and it's important to realize that they're not hiding this stuff. It's just a matter of your mind and your perception of seeing these things, right? Seeing these signs and these symbols. They're always in front of us. We just have been trained not to think this way, not to look for these types of things, OK, you don't have to just look for a pendant with the Masonic symbol or the pyramid or any of the, those things. Remember that they do these hidden hand signs, whether it's the 666 like we always see on the magazine covers or these Masonic hand signs. Right. Like I showed you before with Tom Hanks or with Kanye West. These are deliberately done. These poses are deliberately done. He didn't just shove his hand in his, you know, Kanye wasn't going, oh, my hand's a little cold. Let me shove it in my pocket here. This is how they're trained to communicate. We're trained not to see this stuff, and that's why they do it in plain sight. The problem is that when you tell people about it, they go, oh, you're a crazy person. So let's summarize this, this video. We have Freemason lodges in every town in America. Freemasonry, obviously, like I said, it doesn't – you know, it's not the Jesuits here. We're not at the top of the pyramid. We're at the bottom of the pyramid, but that's where the recruiting is done. Okay, The recruiting is done there. The recruiting is done at Ivy League schools. And then you have all of these celebrities who are connected to Freemasonry doing these poses on magazine covers, right? And these people are all going up the ladder. You have Brad Paisley, right, 32nd degree Mason. Now this guy's suddenly a big star. Not a coincidence. Preaching love, preaching tolerance. That's what you're going to hear Freemasons do. That is the Luciferian doctrine. Tolerance. Accept everything. Let a five-year-old tell you it's gender. Accept homosexuality. Accept, accept, accept. That's what they want because tolerance is Lucifer. Being tolerant of all of this stuff. Remember, do what thou wilt is the whole of the law. That is what they believe. Do what thou wilt means tolerance. So you can see all these guys. But again, it must just be some huge coincidence, right? From Hanks to Richard Dreyfus to Shaq. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. You know, you don't have to look too far. You can see these people doing these poses. Just go to the grocery store. Look at a magazine cover. They'll be doing it right on the cover of the magazine. Right. And it's not because the guy who took the photograph was like, it would be really cool if you put your hand over your chest like this. And uh, won't that be cool? You know, like this one, you know, Tom Hanks doing the hidden hand under his arm. I mean, blatantly right in front of our faces. So be aware of these things. Be aware that it's not as hidden as you would think. It's just the fact that they've trained our mind not to look for these things. I thank you for listening to today's show. I hope this video was helpful in some way. God bless all of you and your families.